Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing radial gauge chart in Power BI. So let's get started. So first of all, let me move to the demo tab and let me tell you how to actually make radial chart. So in this particular video, again, I'm using Pontoso database and I'm using the fact table of Pontoso database. So feel free to use whichever data set you want to use. That doesn't make a difference. So you will be able to find this chart in the fourth row and third column of visualization pane. So select this and bring it to the center, right? Uh, okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show to you is actually radial gauge chart has five inputs over here. First one is the value, second one is the minimum value, third one is maximum value, fourth one is target value, and the last one is tool tips. So the main uh, main inputs of consideration are the first four inputs, value, minimum value, maximum value, and target value. So as you can see over here, it basically is containing the starting point of an arc. It is actually showing an arc, or you can say an arc of 180 degrees. And this is the starting point of that arc, and this one is the ending point of that arc. So the starting point is, is actually the minimum value of the measure that you want to actually, uh, you can say measure. And the last one, this is the maximum value of the measure. Or Everything is distributed in this particular arc evenly. So if say you have like 2 as the minimum value and 10 as the maximum value. So the values between 2 to 10 are distributed evenly across this arc. And at the portion at which uh, uh, this particular uh, dark gray portion is ending, it actually lets you know that uh, what, uh, what is the value of the column of your consideration at this point of time. So that is what is uh, shown in this case, right? So uh, let me tell you about this, that uh, the column that I'll be using in this case is the sales quantity column. And I'll be uh, bringing it over here. And what I'll be doing is I will be uh, selecting the average aggregation over here. So cool, this is done. So currently it's 13.03. As you can see, the starting point is zero. So Pavia sets the minimum value or the starting point of the gauge of the arc to zero. And the maximum value is actually the twice of present value. So the present value is 13.03. So obviously 13.03 um, into two is going to be 26.06. .06. So that is what is set as the maximum value currently, right? And now we will be putting other values. We, if we are not actually, uh, you know, very happy about the default values chosen by Power BI, we may be having our own values. So in this particular case, I am going to bring sales quantity over here, and I will be actually choosing minimum over here. So as you can see, the minimum value has been updated. In the same way, I'll be putting the maximum value as the maximum value of sales quantity. So it is actually 100, right? The last one is actually the target value. So this is the value that is your goal, right? So you want sales quantity to be a particular value and that becomes a goal for the year. So I'm going to bring target value over here and again I'm going to choose average. So as you can see, the average of my target is actually 16. So the target column is made by me over here. So it's some random figure that I have taken in order to let you know about, uh, you know, in order to demonstrate the working of this chart over here. So I have selected that uh, as uh, 1.2 into sales quantity. 
So that has been selected over here till now. So cool enough. So let's actually do one thing. Go back to notes and let's revise. So gauge chart has a circular arc which I have already shown us. Uh, I have already shown it to you. And the second point is it is used to measure the progress towards a goal or KPI or you can say key performance indicator. So it actually is used to measure the health of your your measure, right? So third point is actually a single value shown represents this progress. So as you can see, there's this all out value. Uh, this is actually the present value of uh, whatever measure you're using right now. You're using sales quantity and it is actually the present average of sales quantity, so 13.03. So this actually um, shows you the progress towards your goal. The fourth point is that the line represents the target. It can be split both from data and memory. So this particular black line, it is a target. And currently, in this case, I have used data in order to pick up the target. But this can also be split uh, manually. I'll show it to you uh, very soon. And then. Uh, the next point is that it has a it has minimum and maximum value. So again, this can be said both from data and manually. Uh, so all the values from minimum to maximum they spread evenly across the arc. By default, maximum value is set to double the value measured and minimum value is set to zero. Right? Cool enough. So now uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to show you how to actually select uh, the values manually. So I'm going to remove all these three things, uh, three inputs over here. So this is set to 13.03 now, so cool enough. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select gauge axis over here. So as you can see, I can actually input minimum, maximum, and target over here. So in case of minimum, I'm going to choose whichever value I want. So again, I am going to choose, say, 5. And in case of maximum, I'm going to choose, say, 20. Mm. And in case of target, of course, my target was actually 16, right? I wanted 16 uh, sales quantity on an average. So this has been set. So as you can see, I'm very far behind my goal. I saw this and really less amount of months are left with me. So I have to, I have to uh, bring this uh, blue ending to this, right? So I'm three points behind currently, which is not so good. So this has been set. Now I am going to actually do one more thing, I'm going to set data label. So I'm going to remove the decimal points. So now you can see 5 and 20 are without decimal points, which looks good to me, right? And I want the target again, the target also to be without decimal points. So this also looks good. And call out value is actually this value which is shown over here. So again, in this case also, I'm going to use zero. So looks fine for me. The next one is actually the data colors thing. So uh, I mean, the target is dark blue and the fill is uh, this color, blue with this. So I'm actually going to change it a bit. I'm going to use uh, my theme color that is Mustard yellow over here, and the target that I'm going to choose is black color, right? So this looks okay to me. Then uh, the title, in case of title, I'm going to see, I'm going to show it as uh, sales uh, quantity gauge chart. Okay, quantity gauge chart. Okay, and I'm going to increase the size a bit. 
cool enough and yeah so this is done and uh, background yes i also a border yes i'm going to choose 20 degree as the radius currently and so far for me it's actually done so yeah if you want to change anything like the target color or something you want to change it to black you can go ahead with that for me it looks nice i'm fine with this so guys with this i conclude this tutorial i hope you liked it if you did then please hit the like button let me know about your feedback in the comment section share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you and have a nice day